You know, we often hear sad stories about kids with weapons at school. Well, leave it to Romney to find a lighthearted one. Yeah, and this is a weapon from the last millennium helping the class of 2000 pass physics. <laughs> now, in Travels with Romney, trebuchet, old school physics, helping catapult students into the top flight of the college ranks. Um, well, we have to play with the hook as of right now because when we first got here, the hook was straighter, so now we're moving it at more of an angle to see if it will shoot straighter. How much weight are we talking about? Um, 90 pounds right here. <laughs> it's trebuchet day. Unlike catapults, these launchers, made famous by the Mongol hordes in, say, 1300, aren't spring-loaded. They use counterweights. A warfare has always encouraged science, um, and these machines uh, feed directly into studies of pendulums and motion and gravity and rotation and energy. It's a great way to bring together a lot of physics ideas. It was working good yesterday. We're hoping it'll work good again today. What's working good? How far? Uh, about 100 yards. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That is about 80 yards. It's good to be on a trailer because like the base is more stable because we have car jacks on the back and we have a stable on the tongue. Yeah. So it just doesn't have any rocks, so the power just goes straight to the arm. Like the metal bar, so I can get flexibility so that it would whip when it goes up so that the ball would go further. And I did a longer string so that it'd have more whip action. Yeah, they used to throw dead horses and prisoners with bubonic plague over castle walls. Pretty gruesome stuff, but there it is. The trebuchet wreaked havoc during the Crusades, but rest assured the last part of the final exam is disassembling the devices, so Watsonville High's medieval arsenal has been disarmed tonight. <laughs> All right.